This video is all about drawing graphs of equations and it's those exam questions where you're sometimes given a table. It will be, you know, y equals 4x plus 5. And you need to complete the table and then plot the points on a graph. Or sometimes you're given those questions but without the table and you're asked to draw the graph given an equation. Hello, welcome to Maths Kitchen. These videos are quite long sometimes, so I want to make it as quick and easy for you to find just the right bit that you want. So I've put the questions with the timings on the screen there, and I've also put links to those particular points in the video in the description below. In this question, the equation that we've been given is y equals 2x plus 1. We need to complete that table, and then we need to draw the graph of that underneath as well. So when you get an equation like that, a useful way to think of it is just it's giving you a little rule how to fill out that table so this one is y equals 2x plus 1 and that 2x plus 1 means you take x whatever number that happens to be you times it by 2 and then you add 1 right and so we just use that to complete our table and we're going to imagine all these different values for x so in that first box if x was 0 to find out what y is we would do two lots of zero, which is zero, and then we would add one, okay? So that first box would be one. To find out what's gonna go in that second box, we assume that x is one, we do two lots of that, so two lots of one is two, and then we add one to that, which is three. In the third box, we assume that x is two, so we do two lots of two, and then we add one, which is five, you might be able to notice that they're going up in twos, okay? And that's not a coincidence, that's because of the, the 2x in the equation, okay? So the next one will be seven, and then nine, and then 11. So that's how you complete the table for these, really straightforward. Then all you've got to do is plot those points. Now, this is a linear equation. We haven't got any x squareds or x cubeds or anything like that. It's just 2x plus one. So that's gonna be linear. That means we're gonna end up with a straight line. So when we plot that graph, we should get a straight line. What we've got to do now, if you consider the numbers that we have in our table as pairs of points. So that first pair of coordinates is 0, 1. The second pair is 1, 3. The third pair is 2, 5, and then 3, 7, and so on. All you've got to do is plot those on the graph. I'll just do that quickly here. You don't actually have to draw every single point, but if you're doing this with pen and paper, it's probably not a bad idea to do that. If you're doing this on the Maths Kitchen website, it's much easier just to draw that first point at 0, 1, and then plot the second point at 5, 11, and the, the site will automatically join those up for you. This question is asking us to draw the line for the equation y equals 3x plus 2. And it hasn't given us a table to fill out first of all. But you can always do your own little table. So I'm going to quickly do that here. So I write the x on the top and then the y underneath. And it says in the question with values of x from minus 2 to 2. That just means my table is going to start at minus 2, and then minus 1, 0, 1, 2. Which means when I come to plot my points on my graph, they're going to start at minus 2 on the x-axis and go up to 2 on the x-axis. That's all that line means. It throws people sometimes, uh, but that's all it is. So the rule is that we've got y equals 3x plus 2. That is telling us to find the y-coordinate. We do three lots of the x-coordinate, and then we add 2. So if the x-coordinate was negative 2, we would do 3 times negative 2, which is negative 6, and then we would add 2. 2, which is negative 4. So that would go in there, negative 4. The second coordinate, we are, we are assuming that x is negative 1. So we follow the same rule again. We're going to do 3 times whatever the x coordinate is. So 3 times negative 1, and then we're going to add 2. Well, 3 times negative 1 is negative 3. And then if we add 2, that gives us negative 1. So put negative 1 in there. The next one, well, x is 0. So we're going to do 3 times 0, which is just 0. And then we'll add 2, which is 2. Now, 
these are going up in threes. Negative four, negative one, two, and they're going to continue to go up in threes. That's because of the, the fact that it's 3x. So we can fill out the rest like that. Now you don't have to do these tables. It's probably not a bad idea. It depends on the question, it depends how confident you feel. You know, maybe you can just do it in your head. That's absolutely fine. If you find it useful, just do the table. Then you can easily plot the points, as you can see I'm about to do here. Plot them like so. So this first pair of coordinates, negative two, negative four. So you go across to negative two on the x-axis and up to negative four. Sorry, down to negative four. At the second pair of points, we go over to negative one on the x-axis and then down to negative one on the y-axis. Plot our points there. We'll repeat that for the other points. Really important to remember that at the end, the, the purpose of this is not just to plot the points, it's to draw the line. So once you've plotted those, you must join them up with a line. And this is a linear equation. It's just 3x plus 2. It's not 3x squared or 3x cubed or anything like that. So you should get a straight line. If one of your points you know, makes your line go a bit wobbly, then you've made a mistake. That's something to look out for. Just go back, double check that you've done your table correctly um, and you know, correct it if necessary. As before, when you're doing this on pen and paper, it's not a bad idea to plot every single point, but if you're doing this on the Maths Kitchen website, you really don't need to. Much easier just to plot that first point at minus two, minus four, and then the last point at two, eight, and it will join up a straight line between those two points. This question is just asking us to draw the line of x equals two. It's actually a really straightforward thing. I'm going to use a table of values just to show you what's going on. But as soon as you've seen it, you, you will never need to use the table of values again. So if we draw out like, like we might one of those other kinds of questions where you get something like y equals 3x plus 7 or whatever, we'll do a little table like that. But so we've got x at, so we've got x at the top, y at the bottom. But this time, the rule is telling us that x equals 2. What that means is, regardless of what your y coordinate is, x is always 2. So if y was 0, x would be 2. If y was 1, x would be 2. If y was 3, uh, sorry, 2, x would be 2. If y was 3, and so on, okay? So you, you can see there would be no point drawing that table because just x is always 2. But it's worth doing that just to show you that when you go to plot those points on your coordinate, uh, on your graph, x is always 2. So if we plot those points where y is 0, x is 2. Where y is 1, x is 2. Where y is 2, x is 2, and so on. You just end up with a vertical line, a straight vertical line. If you're doing this on the Maths Kitchen website, you only need to plot two points and it will fill in the rest for you. If we're drawing the graph of y equals three, that's just gonna be a horizontal line going across, passing through three on the y-axis, so that for every point on that line, the y-coordinate is going to be three. This question is asking us to draw the graph of y equals x, and it says to do that from x is equal to negative three, to x is equal to 3. That just means our x axis, where we're going to plot those points, we're going to start at negative 3 and we're going to go across to 3 on the x axis. Now, y equals x is actually a really, really simple graph to plot. Um, I'm going to use a table of values just to show you, but once you've seen it, you won't need to use that table of values. It's really straightforward. Let me show you then. So x, it says it needs to go from negative 3 up to 3. So negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, let's extend that, 0. You know, I'm, I think you'll get the idea of what happens before I get over to the end there. So it's saying that x is equal to y. That is the rule that tells us what the y coordinate is. So it just means that y is exactly whatever x is. So if x is negative 3, y is negative 3. If x is negative 2, y is negative 2, and so on. Okay. So if we go to plot those, you end up with, uh, so negative 3, negative 3, there's a point there, negative 2, negative 2, that point there, negative 1, negative 1, and, zero, and so on, okay? And you end up with a straight line. 
As with drawing other graphs on the Math Kitchen website, you really only need to plot a point at each end of your line and the site will just join up a line between those two points. This question is asking us to draw the graph of x plus y equals 4. It's a nice easy one to draw. There are two different ways you can do it. I'm going to show you both of them. One of them, I think, is much, much easier than the other. I'll show you the slightly more long-winded version first, then I'll show you the quick version second. So the, the long-winded way to do it would be to draw a table of values, just like we would, you know, when we're doing any other equation. So now it says here that to go from x is equal to 0 to x is equal to 4. So our table, we're going to go from 0 to 4. So the rule that we're being given here to calculate what the y-coordinate is, or that we can use to calculate the y-coordinate, is that those two coordinates, x and y, are going to add together to make 4. So if x is 0, y must be 4. And if x is 1, y must be 3, so that they add together to make 4. If x is 2, y must be 2. If x is 3, y must be 1. And if x is 4, y must be 0. Then we can plot those points. So it goes from there, and there, and there, and there, and there, and we end up with a straight line with a negative gradient like that. So the easier way to do this is just to take those two points at either end of our line there. The first one is where the x coordinate is zero. So if the x coordinate is zero, then obviously the y coordinate must be four because they've got to add together to four. And we'll take the other point where the x coordinate is 4 because then we know that the y coordinate must be 0. And what you can do is just draw those two points and then use a ruler to connect those. And every single point on that line, you will find that if you take the coordinates, they will add to 4, no matter where you are on that line. So this question is asking us to draw the graph of the equation y equals 2 minus 3x. So this is in a slightly different order to how we often would write these. You know, we would probably normally write y equals minus 3x plus 2. But it really doesn't matter and it doesn't change the way that we're going to work this out. And we're being asked to fill out this table of values first of all. Um, so we just go through the process of thinking of this as a little rule that is telling us how to find the y coordinate. Okay, so this first one here, if x is negative 2, then we're going to work out what y is. So it will be 2 minus 3 times x. Well, x is minus 2, so 2 minus 3 times negative 2. I'll tell you what, let's put that in brackets. So 3 times negative 2 is negative 6, so it's 2 minus negative 6. And when you subtract a negative, it's the same as adding, isn't it? So 2 minus negative 6 is 8. Okay, so the same as 2 add 6. The second point is going to be 2 minus 3 times negative 1. So we've got 2 minus negative 3, because 3 times negative 1 is negative 3. And so subtracting a negative is the same as adding. So it's actually 2 add 3, really, which is 5. Okay, next one, we're going to do 2 minus 3 times 0. So 3 times 0 is just 0. So it's 2 minus 0 is just 2. So you can notice from here there's a pattern, isn't there? And there's a pattern is that it's going up in threes. So in fact, I can complete the rest of the values just from using that information. Um, but of course, if you wanted to go through and calculate each one of them, absolutely fine. There's no problem with that. Um, and it's probably not a bad idea to do both, you know, to check that you haven't made a mistake by doing that. Once you've got your table of values, all you've got to do is plot your points. So I'll quickly do that. That first one is negative 2, 8. So I'll make a point there. The second one is negative 1 and 5. Make that point there. I'll quickly do the rest of these. And if you've done it correctly, you should end up with a straight line. Um, if, if you don't, then you've made a little mistake somewhere. So just go back, double check, check your table of values, and then double check that you've plotted those all correctly. You should end up with a straight line like that. 
If you're doing this with pen and paper, not a bad idea to plot every single point, but you don't have to. And definitely, if you're using the Maths Kitchen website, it's much easier just to plot the point at either end of the line and let the site join up that line for you, as you can see it's doing there. So this question, complete the table of values for the equation y equals x over 2 minus 1. This is actually really straightforward. It's exactly the same as any other question where you have to complete your table of values and then draw the graph. Um, but I know that having that fraction there, the x over 2, throws people sometimes. So I wanted to specifically address this. All that means is x divided by 2. In other words, you take your x coordinate, you divide it by 2, and then you take away 1. So if x was negative 4, to work out what y is, you do negative 4 divided by 2, which is negative 2, and then take away 1, which is negative 3. You fill that in there. If x was negative 2, you would do negative 2 divided by 2, which is negative 1, and then subtract 1, which would give you negative 2. If x was 0, you'd do half of 0, which is obviously just 0, and then you'd take away 1, so that would be minus 1. If x was 2, you'd do half of that, which is 1, and then take away 1, which is negative 1. And then the final one, if x was 4, you would divide that by 2, which is 2, and then take away 1, which is 1. And that's it. As soon as you fill out your table, all you then got to do is plot those points. So you should end up with something like that. And again, you should end up with a straight line. If you haven't, you've made some kind of mistake. Just go back, check your table of values, and then check that you've plotted them all correctly. See if you can find out where you went wrong. As with plotting other graphs on the Maths Kitchen website, you actually only need to plot two points, one at each end of your line, and it will join those two up for you. But if you're doing it on pen and paper, it's not a bad idea to plot at least three points. So that's it. Plotting graphs of equations could come up in the foundation paper or could come up in the higher paper. Um, useful skill, worth practicing, because the other nice thing about it, if it comes up in an exam, it's worth quite a few marks. You often will get two marks for filling out the table and then a further two marks for drawing the graph. My tip for these, if you get completely stuck filling out that table, just put some numbers in there, any random numbers, because then you've got some numbers that you can use to draw your line. It's going to be the wrong line, but as long as it's correct in terms of following what you've got in your table, you'll still get a mark for that, okay? That's my top exam tip. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you found it useful and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.